there is another passage here I would like to look at in Leviticus 27, 7 and 8. The Bible said, And if it be from 60 years old and above, if it be a male, then thy estimation shall be 15 shekels, and for the female, 10 shekels. But if he be poorer than thy estimation, then he shall present himself before the priest, and the priest shall value him, according to his ability that thou shalt the priest value him. According to how much work he can give to the house of the Lord, right. how many years he can give work to the Lord, that's how you get the value of the uh, uh, people who want yeah. to serve the house of the Lord. That's not slavery, my dear brothers and sisters. Have nothing to do with working for some Hebrew or some Jew outside there. They're going to work in the house of the Lord, and the priest here obviously will give, say, well, I think you are worth this amount of uh, uh, whatever the dirhams or the money to use in the temple, and that's how they can give the uh, money to their family to support them in the time of their uh, giving their life to serve the Lord in mm. the house. Mm. Uh, I have a few passages in the uh, New Testament, uh, very important. We need to look at it quickly. I know there's yes. only a few minutes left here. Yeah, go ahead. And, uh, and then we will we'll stop by God's word. In yeah. 1 Timothy 1.10, 1 Timothy 1.10, the Bible said, For whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. We, we read in the beginning of our program uh, the, the fact that the Old Testament teach that uh, anyone who steals a man or try to sell him a slave, the punishment is death. That's an earthly punishment, obviously, uh, with the Jewish faith is to be stoned to death. In the New Testament, as we read here in Timothy 1.10, that men stealers, their punishment is hell, eternal hell. Men stealers is sin, like adultery, like killing, like anything else. The Bible is very clear, Brother Joseph. Yeah. You cannot, in the New Testament, to steal somebody or to sell somebody. This Absolute is clear prohibition verse. from the very beginning until now. And I want you to make it very clear to our viewers, now that you're sh shifting to the New Testament, all that you have shared in the last hour and a half has been from the Old Testament. Yes. And that is to defend the fact that the same God of the New Testament that said there's neither male nor female, Gentile or Jew, everyone Galatians is free. 18, you, you're proving that that same God has always been just. And mm -hmm. even in the, and you're really you're comparing the Old Testament from, from uh, 3,500 years ago to Islam today. It, just briefly explain to people, and the Muslims in particular, who often make this fallacy and present a straw man argument against us, that even though you've defended this very well, this in Deuteronomy, Leviticus, Exodus is by no means what Christians follow today. Just Absolutely. explain yes. that. It's obvious well, to us, but yes. not to every all of our viewers. Well, we, we Christians do not believe uh, that we live according to the teaching of the Old Testament, but we live according to the teaching of the New Testament. And the Old Testament is justice. Don't take me wrong. Because when the Bible says eye for eye and tooth for tooth, that's justice. You poke up my eyes, I'll pick up your eyes. Because people who commit a crime need to be paid for it, they need to be punished for it. Uh, but Jesus taught in the New Testament, you uh, do not treat them eye for eye, tooth for tooth, but to love and to forgive and to uh, uh, do what, it, what actually God the Father does to us. Uh, so forgiveness and love uh, to our enemy is the teaching of the New Testament. That's what we Christians believe in. Not because the bad, it's Old Testament is bad. No, the Old Testament is justice. New Testament is more love. Yeah. And it is to be like our Father in heaven. And not, not what is taught in the Quran. For the Quran does not teach eye for eye and tooth for tooth. No. Muhammad teaches in the Quran retaliation is ordained for the Muslim. A male, a free man for a free man, a slave for a slave, female for female. And that is the most barbaric faith can be practiced on planet, planet Earth. So if I kill uh, Pastor Joseph, mm. uh, and uh, Pastor Joseph is a free man, uh, uh, in Islam, he has the right to kill me. But imagine with me, one of my slaves killed Pastor Joseph. You don't kill my slave. No, you kill me, the free man, because a free man for a free man. If I uh, killed one of Pastor Joseph's slave, you don't kill me. You kill one of my slaves. An innocent slave you kill yeah, because yeah. that's equal to what you lost. Yeah. If I killed your wife yeah. because she's a female, you don't kill me. 
Yeah. See, the, 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 new, the Old Testament... Kill your wife. Uh, she's supposed to kill me. He's like, no, no, you pick up my wife, the female, and kill her. Yeah. And that's a huge difference. But we're not talking about the Old Testament because we believe to practice. No, we live in the grace of God in the New Testament, and we follow the teaching of the New Testament uh, because that's where the new level... Old Testament is justice, but now we're talking about love and a higher level to be like our Father in heaven. Osama, you got seven minutes to present some more New Testament passages. We got to right. give Ted a couple minutes at the end, and then we're going to go to Brother Bruce. Oh, and you've got a lot of time tonight. So. Absolutely. By God's will. Go uh, ahead. This, yeah. uh, you know what? Let me just give this verse, yeah. uh, Galatians 3.28, 3 yeah. obviously. I was saying yes. 3.18. 3.28. Listen carefully, my dear brothers and sisters. What does the Bible say? This is the word of God. What the Bible said. Here we go. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Male, female, free man, slave. Oh, but the Bible used the word slave. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let's get to the next one here. In Romans 6, 16, listen carefully. But the Bible said clearly, there's no difference. We're all one in Christ Jesus. And uh, when, when Paul talk about slave, does he mean slavery of America? Lifetime slavery, children of one grandchildren? Or he mean people working according to the law of Moses in his days? People hiring themselves to somebody for the six years. So this is a very important thing you have to keep in mind when we read about the Bible mission slave. But in Romans 6.16, the Bible said, Know ye not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants you are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. We, we are slave to somebody, to someone. But I prefer to be slave for Jesus, servant of Jesus. I'm not going to be slave to sin, servant to Satan. Uh, a very important passage. Uh, in First Timothy 6, 1 and 2, listen carefully what the Bible said. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed, and that they have believing masters. Let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. Did really Paul are trying to, uh, when he wrote to Timothy here, he's trying to make, oh, you Christians should have slaves. You Christians should, uh, I'm giving you permission. That's how you treat them. Or you master, do this to your slave. That's mean. Is, is Paul really saying here that it's okay to have slavery? It's still, no. Let me say again. Don't look at the teaching of the Bible. With, don't wear the glasses of the America for the last 200 years. You need to read with the glasses of how the Bible is written in the Old Testament. So the Bible talking about you can hire yourself. You can work for somebody for six years. You get paid for it. That's what is teaching of Paul. Paul's not talking about the slavery of America to the black of America as we saw it in the history, the sad history, the black history of America, the sad days. But he said, if I'm going to be a servant to somebody, I'm going to treat him justly. Uh, I'm going to work for him justly as I'm working for the Lord. And if I'm a master to a slave, I have to treat him good, not pick up his eye, not break his teeth, but treat him good. And this is the teaching of the six years of working, not lifetime, not slavery of America. Oh, it's very important to understand that. I'm sorry uh, to cut you off, sure. but uh, could you summarize what we've said tonight before we go to Ted and then finally to Bruce to end the show? But uh, what's the point here? We've got Muslims watching, we've got people watching and saying, boy, they, they just keep on talking about slavery. In the old. What is the, the, the point? If they don't watch our show tonight, what is the point you want people to hear right now, the main point of all of this? The main point of all of that, in a summary to what I'm trying to cover, and we run out of time, I understand. Yeah. The Bible never taught slavery. In the Old Testament, the book of Exodus said, if somebody hold a slave or capture a person to sell against his will, the punishment of this person is death. The New Testament teach, as we read in Timothy, if uh, people who own slave or who sell slave, their punishment is an eternal punishment in hell. Literally, they'll burn, burn in hell. We could not find anywhere in the Bible that the Bible allows slavery or, allow, or uh, uh, condones uh, 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 people of, uh, uh, for being having a slave or allowed or them to be stealing men or, or selling them. Yeah. So that's the teaching of the Bible. Yes, there is passage in the Bible 
talking about people selling themselves. In the Old Testament, that's to work for somebody. The longest you can ever can work is six years. Yes, the Bible tells uh, Moses that you will have slaves, and they will be slaves. That's God know the future, that there will be people, the Gibeonites people, yeah. who make a trick. They trick yeah. the Joshua and his people, right. and they were taking that slave for the house of the Lord. Uh, there are so many verses in the Bible, if we read it without understanding the verses of the Bible, it was the uh, doctrine has been taught by Jew and how it's been taught by the Christian, it will come up with a wrong idea. Yeah.